All right, I want to introduce you to the integration of Slack with Salesforce. We're starting to see Slack appear inside of Setup as far as being able to start integrating with your Salesforce instance. So you can search for Slack inside of Setup and you'll see the first step involved is enabling Slack for Salesforce. And in order to do so, you need to accept the terms and conditions before you can get into record detail settings where you can set the level of detail for Salesforce record previews in Slack. There's some notes here as well about the core Slack integrations use Foyer to route data between Salesforce and Slack, Foyer is in beta, et cetera, et cetera. So there's links here as well. And talking about Hyperforce, an SFDC controlled Amazon Web Services instance. And so I'm going to accept the terms and conditions. And so now once we've accepted the terms and conditions, accepting them without reading them, but I digress. And so now there's an op a few options here, and this has to do and gives previews on the data privacy and how things are previewed in Slack whenever you're referring to or referencing Salesforce records. And they note here the better option for data privacy is to show the object type only. Here's what that would look like. It's mentioning an opportunity, and the notification is that the amount increased by 10%, so it's a little more vague in nature as far as privacy is concerned. But then you'll see if you instead want to show record name, the example is it gives the name of the opportunity. And this is if you're needing to give more context. The record name and key fields are shown in the preview for all users, even those who don't have access to the record. Users with access to the record in Salesforce can see its details in Slack. And so those that don't have access to the record would be able to see more details if you show the record name, but they wouldn't be able to access it in Salesforce. Only those that have access in Salesforce are able to go in and see the actual record itself inside of Salesforce. So you want to set your record detail settings and there's no save button, it just updates automatically and you see the toast message here. And so now that we've enabled Slack for Salesforce, we have more options inside of setup. I had searched previously and all that we had was enable Slack for Salesforce, but now we've got CRM, analytics for Slack, integration users, and service Slack app setup, okay? So I'm not gonna go deep into these. I'm thinking about creating a Slack for Salesforce course. Do leave in the comments below if you'd like to see that or take that. First look at integration users and, and here are, would be any users that you have allowed access Slack users and Slack app names and I'll also show you here momentarily how you can find apps for Slack as well and that would require some further setup and then CRM analytics for Slack that also you need to agree to these terms and this uses the headless browser service to route data between Salesforce and Slack and this is also in beta and it's subject to the unified pilot research agreement link there if you want to actually read it or you can just agree and enable Slack integration. And this would be Slack integration for analytics, CRM analytics, okay? And then the service Slack app setup, you can select to get the app and this will install the service cloud app into a Slack workspace from the Slack app directory. So let me go ahead and select Slack app directory. And so now Service Cloud for Slack is now available. And so I'll link to these other links as well down below in the description of this video. But here's the Slack app directory and it's slack.com slash apps. You can browse for applications, you can search. So by searching, you can find the Salesforce app for Slack, Slack single sign-on for Salesforce, and this works much like the app exchange for Salesforce. These are different apps specific to uh, your Slack workspace. And to create a workspace, you can click here to create workspace and begin from there. There's also a few Trailhead modules that I want to introduce you to that can help you get started as well. First of all is the Get Started with Slack Trail. And this goes over some Slack basics and etiquette and productivity as well as other modules that you can explore. And then another trail or this is actually a project, is integrate Salesforce with Slack. This takes you through the process of installing Salesforce for Slack, granting the permissions, and then some actual hands-on experience with creating a custom alert and adding Slack to the user interface of Salesforce, automating Slack messages, and then testing your Slack automation finally. And so this will give you a lot of opportunity to work through the Slack integration as well. So be sure and look for Slack inside of Setup and start experimenting and exploring how you can get more familiar with using Slack. I think eventually Slack will probably take the place of Chatter inside of Salesforce. We're not quite there yet. As you can tell, many things are still in beta. But I do encourage you to experiment and get Slack going in your own org and see what sort of productivity gains you can find. If you found this Salesforce video helpful, please like and subscribe. Leave 
leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn next in Salesforce. I might just make it my next video. Until then, I'll see you in the cloud.